Today is a big day. It's November 27th, 2017. Well, I'm actually feeling a little bit tired. I have to be awake around five o'clock in the morning to get myself dressed. So today is going to be an incredible four-day holiday. We're going to be going down to Heathrow Terminal 3 Airport. I'm not going to do much more filming, but once we get down to Dubai, that's where the fun begins. So I really hope you enjoy this vlog in this incredible journey in Dubai. Done all the check-ins, all the baggage are now in the plane. As soon as the plane is ready, we're going to be ready for takeoff at 11.55. Right now, I need to try and get something to eat. I've got to tell you that I've never been to the Middle East in my life, even though it's going to be my very first time experiencing the Middle East. There are some other trips I really wanted to go down, you know, probably in Europe again, but I wanted to experience something different, which is Dubai is actually the very perfect place to go down. So as of right now, I need to go and get something to eat, and we should be taking off really soon. You know what's really interesting? That the Quainter Airways provides you a sky cam. So if you take a look here, so we've got two planes ahead. We're still waiting for those two planes to go ahead and take off. And then once the two has gone, we should be taking off really soon. Just can't believe it. It's really exciting. Very good morning from Dubai, and it is absolutely sunny outside. Look at it, it's amazing. You could probably see that I'm in my summer clothing. This country don't have seasonal weather, unlike the UK and some of the parts of the countries that do. And there are some possible reasons for this because usually like every single month, it's always hot, every single month. Doesn't matter if it's winter, autumn or whatever, spring, summer. I mean, spring, summer, it gets even more hotter and hotter, hotter. But I think in this type of temperature, during the winter and in the autumn, it's just around 30 degrees. Unbelievably hot. By the time when we have to get used to hot weather, that's how it's gonna be. If you take a look at the view from this part of Dubai, I mean, there are several building works that are still need to be taking place. You can see a bit of Dubai flag. I'm not sure if you could notice it. And here is a nice balcony. I don't know if that, that's a reception, but we're on the sixth floor. Down there, there is another balcony. Probably we'll have a best view from over there. So I'm not really gonna jump to a conclusion on what we're doing. So we need to go and have some breakfast. It's already in the morning and it's already hot as well. Probably around 28 or probably even more than 28 degrees out there. Probably 30 degrees. So I guess it is time for me to have some breakfast.
even had time to film the breakfast, but even though the breakfast looks really, really delicious, I haven't had the chance to do a room tour for you guys. So we are in room 618. My brother stays in this room as well. My brother and my older sister are in holidays with me. Let's go ahead and take a look at the room tour. So there it is. That's the entrance to this room. And on your left, you get to see the sink. So you got your kettle there. You got your coffee maker. Of course, please excuse the mess because we had that last night. Of course, you got all your beverages. So your milk, your coffee powders, English tea and green tea is also available. I'm not pretty sure someone likes green tea, but let me know if you do. And these are just your usual cappuccino, coffee, you know, for people who has it. So generally you got your cup of tea here and your bottled water. So there's your desk. Of course, you have your coffee table, which generally you don't see in many hotels. Basically, this is like more of an executive suite because you've got all of your TVs, you've got your settees and another coffee table. And out there, there is a balcony. And for people who are into alcohol, there's all of your things. By the way, I can't drink these. Of course, you've got your remote there and you can order your room service via an iPad, which is quite handy rather than using the phone. I like that table. That's more like a, I don't know, like a tray or something like that. And as we go to the master bedroom where I slept, please excuse the mess, your table there. And of course, another balcony. And you get to see the nice view of the lake. Oh, of course, my office with my MacBook. And of course, there is another TV there if you wish to watch it from your own bed. And over there, there is the bathroom. You're safe. And of course, your cupboard, and another closet with your iron, and another closet, very handy. And in there, there is my luggage. Of course, there's an extra space. So we're going to be going off for day two here in Dubai. Let's just get going. So here we are, we're here at the top of Khalifa at the very highest floor, 123 floors I think. You guys really want to take a look at a nice view of the entire Dubai. up as well. See? Camera moves down as well too. So as the sunset has just passed, um, we are walking along in the sidewalk. But if you take a look at this beautiful sight, if you guys are trying to wonder, hey, 
as the ones I saw at Portsmouth. It is really similar to the ones I've seen in Portsmouth, but it's not exactly what I think it's what it's called. But yeah, it's kind of a, a kite skyscraper building, but it does have a viewing section in Portsmouth, but I'm not pretty sure it does apply for Dubai. I think they do have a viewing section. So basically, specifically, we are walking along in this street, trying to find a camp to try and get back into the city. But I'm not kind of a bit fussed to get back. If you take a look, a lot of people are still there in that time of day, in that time of night. It's incredible. I don't know how they survived this. I mean, no one in England would able to do that. The weather could have just started to get cold if it was Bournemouth in that hot British summer. And I want to apologize, I am filming on an iPhone because my battery has run out. Right now, I'm just specifically filming it from my iPhone 10. It does handle the quality okay, but I would just suggest I would just film it through my camera. So then you'll be able to see all good content, good old 4K. But this phone does has slow motion features. That's all I just really care about. There's nothing to be fussy about frame rates or any sorts of things. The weather is really hot. Everyone is having a great time. You just can't beat that. So we just arrived at the Cheesecake Factory and guess what I'm having? Yep, it's a halal one. Spaghetti meatball. I just really need to eat. Use my computer. But anyways, that'll be it for this part of the Dubai trip. Stay tuned to part two. I really hope you've enjoyed the very first part of it, like going from UK to Dubai, um, enjoying most of the beach. I mean, I had a crazy time as well. And of course, I do apologize for not filming in this camera because this camera, for some odd reason, that the battery died on probably on the second battery. I thought it was charging, but it wasn't really. That's just kind of a little bit of pain in the bum. Anyways, I have to go and get ready for bed. And there is another big thing coming, so stay tuned to the second part of Dubai trip. You will not be missed by that, I promise you. Anyways, I'll see you a bunch later.